Ready in the control room? Ready. ready. All right. Get ready to roll the opening title. In 10, 9, okay, I gotta get on 8, I gotta watch. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Roll opening title. Live from Frostburg, Maryland, it's the second annual Frosty Awards. <laughs> It's spring semester 2016 and Frostburg State University students are getting ready for the second annual Frosty Awards. FSU is located in the small town of Frostburg in Western Maryland. Its beautiful campus has just recently built the new Gira Center, also known as the Center for Communication and Information Technology, which houses the university's most technology intensive departments, including a $2 million studio, which is capable of producing content comparable to large market stations. The Frosties is a student-produced event that focuses on the creative communication skills of Frostburg students of all majors. Students can submit work for competition or volunteer for committees such as event planning, public relations, script writing, studio production, and more. Students can also audition for roles as entertainment, talent, and presenters. This event is hosted by the Department of Communication and the Creative Communication Club, also known as CCC. The club provides an enjoyable, creative outlet and produces small events that lead up to the show. So the specifics, the specific guidelines for everything will be on each of the forms that you have to like read and fill out with your submission. You cannot submit without reading and signing this thing. Otherwise, we would just get people turning in all kinds of stuff without paying attention. My position for the Creative Communication Club is I am the Vice President, but I'm also the head of the Talent and Red Carpet Committee, so I got a lot of exciting stuff going on with that. Overall, I think auditions went great. We had a great turnout. We had over 19 people and duets and bands come out and audition all together. So it was way more than last year. It kind of got a little chaotic in the TV3 studio because we weren't expecting such an amazing turnout. And I just remember going through my mind, I'm like, I hope we use social media to the best of its capabilities. Are people really going to come on time? Is everything going to run smoothly in the studio, like with audio and lighting and with their music? But it all just worked out together. We had a couple kinks in the beginning, but it worked out. I'm looking at this lovely lady as if she's standing before you. When I get thrilled by my projection, I can't help but imagine dancing zombies, werewolves and varsity jackets, and of course, Jerry Curls. You were my last, last my, my first, first, and then I hear this voice. I am a, the lead director for the Frosty Awards. Also, I create graphics for the show, such as the opening graphics, the lower thirds, and maybe any skits throughout the show, such as the skit that we're gonna have here for the Frosties. It's like, I love doing graphics, like, it's so fun, but it's so tedious at the same time, so. Yeah. It's, it's like a hand-in-hand -hand type thing. Ugh, too many meetings. 12 to 1 Monday is for 397. 12 to 1 Wednesday is for the studio floor plan. Okay, I got you guys, I got it, I got it. Uh, so primarily we're writers, so we're writing the script for the Frosties uh, and also checking over um, the wording of promotional materials and stuff like that to make sure everything is good and there's no like apostrophes in the word Frosties. We also do things like arrange meetings and uh, with, with the other writers. Uh, also I'm the host and Bobby's the announcer, so we're sort of writing for ourselves, which is kind of nice. Mm -hmm. um, because then we don't we don't have to worry about like is this joke gonna come across okay? Because uh, yes it is because I'm gonna be the one saying it and I'm the one who wrote it. So yeah. um, that's that's basically that's in a nutshell. That's what we do. I think uh, with the board meetings they've just been a, they they haven't really been getting more stressful. It's just been there's just more to do as things get closer. Like the last board meeting we had was probably the longest one we've had. It was like an hour and a half. And it's just, it's just like really like practical, like we need to buy the awards so that we have awards because it's an award show. And like we need to 
you know, it's stuff that's like very directly for the show. It's not, we're not planning stuff anymore. We're not like doing like conceptual stuff or whatever. It's all just like, okay, buy this thing, make sure that everyone's at rehearsal at this time, everything. Okay. So we're all in agreement, set number one, with a couple minor changes, and when will we be able to see that again, with changes? And that's when I need to get home, because next day is going to be another long day, because we go full tech next week. Everything is going, we're going to be going through everything from start to finish. The overall vision for the Frosty Awards is to have a pretty much a successful show. A show that with no bad takes, no audio problems, and no graphic problems. But we all know, while recording a show, mistakes do happen. So I'm just hoping that everything flows well and goes on and on. Um, we can't get our router signals from our second location into the studio properly and can't send a signal back. So I am trying to figure out how to fix it. Otherwise, the studio part seems to be going very, very well. It's just the remotes. If things go wrong, we go forward. We move forward. We look past it. We don't worry about the fact that, oh, this camera's a little off center or this light wasn't quite right. Because in the end, it will be okay. It will work. It will be fine. So don't stress about it. We'll make sure it works for you guys. I mean, some of you are seniors here, getting ready to leave. This is your last project, your last big one. We want it to happen right for you. We want it to be right for you. We're going to do what we can to make that work. So if you're feeling stressed, take a deep breath, step back. We'll be all right. It's getting even frostier, people, meaning it's getting real. Everyone's nerves are kind of everywhere, but we're all trying to stay calm and work it out. And Dance is just doing a phenomenal job of just making people feel secure about the fact that this is going to go on and be successful, regardless of the little icebergs that might get in our way. <laughs> the Frosties will be on the loft virtual set. There we will not be flipping into one of the design sets. Yay. Oh, it didn't get done in time, um, and we can't do it now. So we're on the old set. Right. Tonight has been extremely long. We were here yeah. when the sun was up, and now the sun is gone. <laughs> So my overall vision is to go big or go home, especially since this is my last Frosty Award show that I can actually be a part of. I want people to get off of the elevator and just be wow and amazed and really feel like they're not in Frostburg, but they're actually walking the red carpet of an award show like we would see on E! Entertainment or, you know, that we see on regular TV. What I'm most excited for this year would definitely have to be people's reactions when they get off the elevator and seeing their faces because then that will let me know that our job was accomplished, especially when it comes to the red carpet and having the photographers and the backdrop. Yeah. I lost all the IP. I'm in the control room. We don't depend on that. <laughs> right. Right. Is Nate going to say anything about why he's standing in front of a green screen? Probably. And when we get to that point, he'll that be like, be this added. is a green screen. We're supposed to have a virtual set behind it, but because we don't have a broadcast engineer, um, there's no one to maintain our equipment, there's... and it died. Um, yeah, I, I think I think we did pretty well considering everything that we set out to accomplish. It was a lot. It's a lot bigger than last year. A bigger vision, but um, yeah, we I think we did a great job. I mean, with any production at all, professional or student run, there's going to be technical problems, unforeseen issues, glitches 
talent issues, whatever. So the main thing is to get past it, to get through it, to finish, and we did. And so I'm really proud of everybody. It went really well. I, uh, we had like some technical stuff, some just live TV kind of things that happened, but um, it was really good. I'm really, I'm really happy with it, and I'm glad it's done. It's a load off. Oh, All right, Bobby, so what's the deal with the pink mic? Pink mic. Professor Danzi set up this pink mic because I'm a diva and I always get my way. Okay. And that's when you cut to the other person having their sweet 16. <laughs> okay. One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No one's actually talking about the stuff we have B-roll for. Like, <laughs> That's happening right. That's happening right in front of my face right now. <laughs> okay. What? I want to see the star in town. Nate's oh, host. He's, yeah. he's over Are there he... crying because he doesn't know what to do. No, oh I'm kidding. God. He's got everything under control. He'll be fine. Oh my god. I don't have a weight problem. I don't have a weight problem. I just like to eat. See? You're just like right next to it. <laughs> right? <laughs> I think we go ahead and share forever. Uh, uh, uh. You got muscles? I got muscles too. We gonna pick some shit up. Alright. You gonna do it? <laughs> you gonna clap? <laughs> Say even frostier. One, two, three. Even frostier! <laughs> Is that what you wanted? Yeah. Oh. You guys uh, here today for you. We have a nice black version of gaff tape. Gaffer. Yeah. Gaff tape is used um, for anything. Any of your taping needs. Gaff tape is your tape, your go-to tape. Um, I'm gonna show how it works. Yeah, we would like to. So, in order to gaff tape something, you tear the noise. You rip it off. I'm such a pro. You tape it on what you need. See how well it works? <laughs> Thanks, and when Sam. you're done, I'll just rip it off. Thanks, Sam. She's like a man. She's a pro. <laughs> and you can make really nice tape bowls with gaff tape. It's um, fantastic. So here's Leo. Here's his gun. Get your mind out of the gutter. So he's peering down, right? Here's some cubs, like. There's the cubs. So Leo's turning like, oh shit, what did my mom tell me about cubs and bears? Not to get between them! And then the bear, being my hand just now, a little late, that's the bear attacking Leo, and he's on top of him. And they rustle, they tussle, until Leo is like, what else did my mom tell me? To play dead. Oh, Revenant's cut short. Sorry, guys. Stay tuned. <laughs> Tiny man, big pocket. It's the day of the Frosties. How are you feeling? Yeah. Stop! 